Welcome to another part of our year-long blog series, Journey Together, where we answer questions about God, relationships, and life. I'm Jennifer Davis. And I'm Ben Clark. And we both have an opportunity to work with Josh McDowell and learn from him along the way. Mm -hmm. One thing that's very important to Josh is self-image. Something that he says, it affects every relationship in our lives. For that reason, our topic for today is See Yourself as God Sees You, based on Josh's book of the same title. I recently had an opportunity to catch up with Josh at a video shoot where I was able to ask him some questions about this. So before Ann and I get started, let's hear what Josh had to say. Your book, See Yourself as God Sees You, has made a difference to people around the world. What compelled you to write it? I believe that one of the key factors in life, especially in a Christian view, is relationships. And I believe a person's self-image is a basic problem in loving intimate relationships. Why? If you don't see yourself as God sees you, who he created you to be, it's very hard for you to see someone else in a way that God created them and their value in life. And part of a relationship is being able to see another person for who they are. So you need to know who you are in God's view, what God says about you as his created being. Then you'll understand more about the other person. Second, if you are not yourself, then you're never really going to be intimate and be known by someone else. Because you're always building up a facade to cover up what you think you really are. So the more I see myself as God sees me, the more then I can be open to other people and real. That was great to hear from Josh. And I can so relate to what he said because I became a believer at 16. It's where I began my relationship with Christ when I accepted him in my life as my Savior. But what I didn't conceive of was the in-depth and deep love that God has for me. Even though it says that in the Bible, there are bumper stickers to prove it, God is love, it never really became personal and real to me until I went through a situation that I was desperate for uh, a word from the Lord or direction from Him. And when that event in my life took place and it drew me to his word in more in depth than I'd ever been before, then I began to see a theme running through it. And a little bit about what Josh touches on here was the steadfast and faithful love of God. And it became so personal that he loved me. And my background and my culture had not really allowed that to sink in like the true time in the Word of God and and that uh, yearning to know the truth and experience His deep love for me. It changed my life. You said something that really resonated with me. You mentioned culture mm -hmm. and how culture contributes to how we view ourselves. So strong. And um, I know that in times in my life, and I see it in others, where there's an expectation of, oh, if I get this car, I'm going to be more valuable. If I get this job, I'll be more valuable. If I look better, oh, skinnier, I'll be more valuable. For sure. <laughs> right? That's right. So it, it does define us, even all the way back to, as Josh talks about, the, the voices that we've heard from growing up, our parents, uh, family members, things like that. And uh, knowing Josh's background is so impactful that he speaks from a standpoint of authority and how he brings truth and lays it over what culture tells us. Don't you think he that's He does a very good job at that. Fantastic. Yes. And it so um, brings to light how the Word of God says, no matter what culture says to us, his word is always true. It never changes along with his love. And this book was a perfect example of that and does a fantastic job of giving us um, not only uh, Josh's insight, but using scripture to prove his point as well. And it, it really validates his uh, message. 
I agree. And honestly, I have never read or heard self-image described in such a profound way that Josh does it. He always has a beautiful way of just hitting things home to where it's really easy to understand in a way that we'd never thought of before. And I think we as women need to hear that. We need to hear that voice often and understand that it is not just an opinion, but it is the strong word of God Mm -hmm. that backs up what Josh is saying. There's nothing more beautiful than his word. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have. I wish that we had more. There was there are a lot of other things that we could talk about. I highly recommend Josh's book, See Yourself as God Sees You. It really opened my eyes to the stark difference between my false identity derived from unhealthy influences and my true identity, who God says I am. 